What's up guys, this is Connor. Welcome back to Three Pedal Devils. Today we're going to be unboxing and building up my Black Widow MCC 500 steel motorcycle carrier. Let's roll the intro and get into it. Alrighty, so if you saw any of our last couple videos, we have been planning and gearing up for a pretty epic trip throughout Wisconsin called the Trans-Wisconsin Adventure Trail. It's about 600 miles off-road, a uh, three-day long adventure where we're gonna ride our off-road bikes and camp along the trail. So along with the four of us riding our off-road bikes, my buddy Cody is gonna drive my 1988 Ford Econoline 350 van. Uh, you might have seen that on the channel, but he's gonna drive that along as kind of a support vehicle and just to come along on the trip with us since he doesn't have a bike but still wants to enjoy it. And since I'm riding a $1,400 Chinese dual sport on the trail and Bo's riding a 40 year old Yamaha street bike converted for adventure. Uh, there's a pretty big possibility that one of us might break down on the trail. So we're going to have this steel motorcycle carrier on the hitch of the van that Cody's going to be driving and we'll be able to mount a broken bike up on there and ride along in the van with Cody while we either try to fix the bike that night or uh, until we get back home. So. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it, and uh, we'll start working on this thing. Alright, so I got most of the main parts out of the box. So it looks like we've got the part that slides into the receiver. We've got some sort of cross member here with a complimentary Made in China sticker. Looks like that's the ramp right there with some reflectors on it. And then another piece here with some brackets, um, some more angles. Looks like the anti-sway device, so those will keep it from bouncing back and forth all the time. A couple more angles here, and then a bag of hardware. And switch to time lapse while I put this thing together. If there's any useful things that I find along the way that might help anyone else building this thing, I'll, I'll stop the time lapse and and jump in with that info. Alrighty, I got the van out here today, so I'm going to test this thing out. It's all built up, just got to carry it outside and hook it up on the van. So let's do it. on the van in the receiver now. I'm gonna work on tightening up that bracket there. That's kind of the anti-sway device to prevent this from happening the entire time you're carrying the thing. So it should tighten it up on there and prevent that from swaying. They just sent some kind of garbage, looks like standard or like grade five bolts. And I have a hard time believing they're not gonna vibrate themselves loose. So I don't know, we'll see. I might use a, a lock nut on top of each one so that it prevents the vibration from loosening them up or maybe some blue Loctite. We'll see what works best, but that's what I'm gonna work on next. And then I'll pull the ramp off and see how the bike fits. It's like 95 degrees and I can't stand the heat. So I'm gonna lose the shirt, just ignore that. I forgot to turn the camera on, but I ended up tightening those four bolts with a little impact driver with a 16 millimeter socket. I didn't have the right size lock nuts because I only have a standard lock nut set and these are metric bolts. Uh, tighten them all up. Don't have super high confidence in this thing because as I would tighten one the other ones would loosen already. Um, this bracket already tore the finish. It's a nice black finish off the receiver part but it does tighten this up pretty good in terms of sway. So if there would be a way to keep those bolts tight without vibrating loose I think that would work pretty dang good. Next thing to do is pull the ramp off and get a bike loaded up on here. Let's do it. 
Well, it's definitely a little sketchy doing it the first time by yourself. It's a pretty steep angle on that ramp. The uh, suspension wants to compress down a crap ton before raising you up there. And that's quite a long fall. I might wait until one of the boys gets here to supervise as I ride up just in case I'm about to tip off. We'll give that a shot. Who knows? Figure out how much of a pain in the ass it is and I might end up rigging up a remote controlled winch right here. And then I can pull the bike straight up with the uh, remote in my hand as I'm standing it up from the side so it can't tip if I do solo trips in the future. But we'll see. Definitely a little bit sketchy. I got back up, so now we're gonna try to send it again. Out there. This like, is the knuckle to my car. Looks like an elephant. Yeah, it's huge. Sorry, this war. That one guy's gonna get mad at us. My bad. We won't bleep that one. We'll just mute the swear word and then pretend it wasn't there. Yeah, like this. Nope. You suck. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. All right, we got this thing on there. A few sketchy things. Uh, <laughs> we're trying to figure out the best way to strap it down so that it doesn't do that while it's riding. Also, the blinkers on my van are covered up, so that's not cool. My license plate's also covered up. I don't really care, but cops do. Yeah, pretty dope. <laughs> on there holds it it's pretty damn loose honestly because it's not held tight to anything it needs like a vertical bar here like Matt was saying tighten it up but I'm gonna take it around the block and see how she holds up I took her for a quick spin around the block. Wanted to show you this really fast before I turn off the van. I've got a backup camera wired in here that I can flip a switch and leave on at all times if I want to. Which is kind of cool because then I can still see the, the bike on its rack back there while I'm driving. It was bouncing around quite a bit as I went over bumps and stuff and it was kind of doing like a twist maneuver. And uh, yeah, that didn't seem super great. I wouldn't be really comfortable with, you know, moving a bike very far like that. So I'll probably be doing some modifications on this thing in the future. But there you have it. That's the Black Widow MC220 or something like that. Random assortment of letters. Uh, it was a couple hundred bucks. Seems to work, but I'll probably be doing some more videos modifying it to work better in the future. That's gonna be the end of this one. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Like a razor red stick, and I risk it. This thing, she suck at my water love stick. Ooh, check up on a bitch like a dip stick. Ooh, yeah, she on me like a misfit. Rack up like a razor red stick, and I risk it. This thing, she suck at my water love stick. Ooh, check up on a bitch like.